Hello guys. Hang on, my chair's getting stuck on something. <laughs> it's just like me to have problems at the very last second, right? <laughs> Welcome, I am Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. How is everybody doing on this Thursday? I hope you guys have had a good day. I had a great day. I actually got to go pick up little Miss Val and I have to tell you guys, it is the sweetest thing ever because I go to daycare and um, the daycare lady is Brooke who's one of my helpers so I know her very well. They only live a few blocks away over here. And I come in and Val has her back to me. She's Brooke is on the couch and Val is facing Brooke and her back is to me. And I walk in and she hears my voice and she turns around and her face just lights up and I feel like the queen of the world. It is so precious. And so then... There's another baby there that's quite a bit younger than her. Like, he's sitting in a bumble. He can't sit up yet. So he's sitting on the floor in the bumble, and I pick up Miss Val, and I'm smooching on her, and I'm holding her, and she's just looking at me, like, beaming from ear to ear. She is just smile. She's got that smile on. Then she looks over at this little baby, and he kind of makes a noise, and then she kind of... It's like they're communicating. And then she looks back at me with a big grin and back at him and back at me like saying, look, this is my granny and she's here to get me. <laughs> it was just stinking adorable. So we had to go to Costco today. And that was kind of a disaster, but that's a long story. Um, but anyways, I got to take Val. Haley needed me to pick her up because Haley lost her keys. So she doesn't have any car keys. And um, could I pick her up and bring her home? So I went and picked her up. Oh, thanks, Sue. <laughs> you just keep watching Barb till she's done. Um, I went over and picked up little Miss Val and then went to Costco to exchange something. And, oh, I needed to get another one of the mats that goes under your rolling chairs in your office so you don't ruin your floor. Because in my office downstairs, I put in a new floor, you know, a few years ago. And I didn't put that mat thing under my rolling chair and I wrecked it. Boy, does my hair look like hell, huh? It's okay because I didn't shower today. Like, I'm grungy. Yeah, and I'm I'm good. I'm not going to apologize for it. I, I was busy. <laughs> and I need to dye my gray hairs because I'm starting to look a little skunky here. I got a big event this weekend. I need to be on top of my game and look as best as I can, right? <laughs> Hi, Connie Billerman. So anyways, I took Val over to Haley's house and dropped her off. And as, as I had Val, Haley's like texting me, when are you bringing my baby home? And I'm like, back off, sister. <laughs> Granny's got her for a while. <laughs> yeah, Vicky says nothing like being a grandparent. For, for sure. For absolutely for sure. Okay, I'm going to get myself pulled up on my um, iPad here. You know, I was going to do something kind of fancy tonight. So I have to tell you guys, because this will be coming. But I bought some software last night. It's called Minicam. And it's going to flip me between screens so that I don't have to do the hang-ons, don't throw up while I turn the camera around thing. But um, Jody was here last night, you guys know, and she showed me how to use it. And I bought it and downloaded it. Got it on my phone. I've got it on my laptop. And I went to use it tonight and I couldn't get it to work, which is exactly what I knew was going to happen. So I didn't get real frantic. I didn't have a hot flash. <laughs> So don't worry, because I'm like, I don't think this is going to work for me the first time. I, I'm one of those people that has to do something a few times before I finally get it. <laughs> Denise says the crown hides my grace. I know, right? It also hides that my hair is kind of ratty. So um, you can see here my bangs are like, oh, what is she doing with those? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, what did that just say? Linda said, Kelly, I'm concerned at what is going on across the street from me. Fire trucks have been there for quite a while. Oh, that's kind of scary, right? Yeah. Sorry about that, Linda. I hope everything turns out okay. Um, anyways, I have myself up here on my um, iPad. And I've got my comments coming up, so I'm just going to set that aside. But I did try to use the mini cam tonight, and um, I couldn't get it to work. And then the other thing that I got, you guys, is a light. I have a ring light up here because I don't think my lighting is right in my new office. So let's turn it off. See that? Back on. Yay! 
it's it's an improvement. I gotta kind of figure it out to make it look decent, but I'm trying. <laughs> we have a door prize winner from last night. Now remember, Denise Dini donated this amazing Snow Wonder stamp set, and hang on, I'm gonna open this up so you can actually see it. That's funny. Sue said she would be over in a minute. She was watching Barb's, um, watching Barb online. And uh, I knew Barb was live tonight. And I figured 7 o'clock would be long enough. So, Barb, you need to cut it up and get it over. <laughs> Finish it up, babe. <laughs> Here are the dies. Okay, so we have a whole bundle. The Snow Wonder with the beautiful uh, Snow Time dies. This was donated by Denise Dini. She accidentally ordered an extra one and sent it on my way so I could give it away as a gift. And I did a little um, drawing, which I do like every Facebook Live. <laughs> you guys are familiar with this, right? Hang on, I'm going to put this back in the envelope. And I am happy to say that Mary Swanson of Stevens Point, Wisconsin, you are the winner of this amazing bundle. So... Watch for that to be coming your way in the mail tomorrow. And I see Chris Wood is watching tonight. Chris, I had planned on putting your die set that you won last night in the mail today. And I didn't. It's right here. Ha! Huh. So, don't worry. That'll go out in the mail tomorrow with Mary Swanson's prize. Let me get this in here. And, um... Then I have to pack and get ready to leave for the weekend. I'm only going 20 minutes south of me to Oshkosh. But we do have a hotel and we have a big demonstrator event going on this weekend. So I'm excited about that. Let me put this on here. I'm really excited about that. And uh, I have so much to do, you guys. I was thinking about that this afternoon. I'm like, am I going to be able to go live tomorrow? Am I really going to be able to go live? Kelly, don't commit yourself to something you can't follow through with because I'm a big stickler about that. Like, I don't like to, I feel like it's, you're, you're a liar <laughs> if you don't follow through with what you say, right? So, um, I am at this point telling you, I don't know. I would love to do a live tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm going to have time because I have to make nine swap cards and another 22 swap cards tonight. That's a lot of cards and I would like to get some sleep. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, a couple things I want to show you. I'm super duper excited. Look at this cutie patootie. This is a Stampin' Up! rainbow mask. It like pretty much matches the card I made last night. It is so very soft. This is um, Stampin' Up's newest logo offering for demonstrators or discount shoppers, whatever. When I say demonstrator, that means anybody who joins Stampin' Up, whether you just do it for a discount or whether you want to build a business. But um, this is super duper cute. I'm excited because I can, I'm going to be with Stampers all weekend and I can wear this. And then I have to show this to you guys. Guess what arrived today? The Hey Chick bundle and the dies. Okay, as a demonstrator or discount shopper, when you join my team, you can pre-order these right now. We always get to pre-order, almost always, get to pre-order stuff early. So I got these today, and then the Hey Birthday Chick and the dies that match those. Are these not stinking adorable? Little fence, we've got um, a happy birthday outline, a bag or a sack of mm, grain probably. In here, we've got some chicken wire. We've got a little chicken coop right here. A sign, some corn stalks, some eggs, a little stump. Holy cow. I can't even wait to play with this. Now, I got to order this early. These will be available to you, if you're not a demonstrator, on February 2nd. Um, if you want to get these now, join my team. You can order these in your kit. Your kit is $99. You get to choose $125 worth of product. You are going to get free shipping, a paper pumpkin kit. You're going to get five packs of 6x6 designer series paper, all of our um, color families. That's not available until the new catalog comes out in May. And you get a 20% discount on all your products. Being on my team is the funnest place to be. 
who just said something about my mask. So uh, I'm so glad you're showing the mask. I was curious if it was soft. Oh, let me tell you, Tanya, this thing, that was the one thing when I opened it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so soft. It is very soft. So it has like almost a t-shirt, a really nice t-shirt um, texture here. And then it's also stretchy cotton on the outside. And then it has the little beads on the ends where you can put it around your ear. Do you want me to, um, let me get it right side up. Let me demonstrate. And then, oops, oops. You put it around your ear and then you pull these little ball things to tighten it up so that it fits you. There you go. Just like that. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to be set up for the weekend. So I'm kind of excited. Oh my Lord, look at my hair. Yeah, I look like a mess. I feel great. Don't think I'm sick or anything. I just didn't take a shower today and I knew you guys would be fine. No judging, right? No judging. So you can get these in your kit. Um, super exciting. If you would like to join my team, there is a link on my blog in the right hand column that says $99 kit. Click on that. You'll find all the details in the link where you sign up. Um, when you get to choosing your items, you can Whatever you want for your $125, you can't go over that amount and pay the difference. The system will not allow you. Just know that. But all you have to do is type in chick and all of these should come up. So you'll be able to um, put those into your kit. And then you get to be part of my team. And my team is so much fun, you guys. There's a whole other world to me than what you guys see right here. And it's a lot of fun. Um, I know a lot of my girls are on here tonight. And uh, I think they would all agree that it's probably one of the best things that they've done is to join a group of, of stampers. It's like being in a special club. <laughs> join my special club. Uh, Nicole says, demo event in Oshkosh. Yep, that's right, Nicole. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. I have a really cool project to show you tonight. And uh, I think you're going to be rather surprised and I hope that you'll take advantage of this and maybe make some of these doing good I saw that it was just Bubba's birthday so that's great um and he's looking as handsome as ever okay you guys I'm gonna flip my camera around so we can get started because I have a lot of swap cards I need to make when we're done tonight and I might put my pajamas on so I'll be more comfortable Hang tight. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I don't want anybody throwing up tonight. We don't have any throwing up in our stamp bag. Okay. Hang on. Let's see. What is that? Oh, I'm like, what is that glaring over there? Everything look okay, you guys? Is it straight? I hate it if things aren't straight. There we go. We'll put that up. Okay. I think we're good. Yep. All right, now I have to remember, I gotta stay right here so I stay in the frame of the camera. Things are a little different now with my new office than they used to be, so it's just a little bit more challenging. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get out all my little goodies here. And, oh, uh, huh. hang on, I think I might have forgot to get out the stamp set. Hold tight. What did I do with that? We're like, oh no, here she goes again. <laughs> Hang on. Um, I want some hearts. That's what I'm looking for. Looking for hearts, hearts, hearts. Down in my heart. Okay, I found some hearts. Hang on. I think that we will use this stamp set right here. No, you know what? I need a different one. Hang on. Hold tight, guys. Take a drink. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I'm going to bring this one in too. All right. Oh yeah, I think this will be really nice. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two. This is new. This is called Lots of Heart, and it has a whole set of matching dies that are beautiful. Um, you guys saw me use those the other day. And then this is meant to be, and this is one of our sets that is from last year, I believe. So, first thing I'm going to do here. This was 
actually part of a challenge from my Christmas party, which was a Zoom team meeting. And I challenged um, my, my team to share or make a dollar store hack. It's a big thing on Pinterest to go to the dollar store and find something and um, change it up, decorate it, make it really pretty and useful. And so that's what I challenged my team to do is a dollar store hack. So this was my dollar store hack. And while um, I did not get this jar at the dollar store, I actually got it for $4.49, but you can get jars at the dollar store. I have another one here, this little jar right here. I mean, you can, you can find a jar like this at the dollar store. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take some tissue paper. Let me find my paper cutter here. I'm gonna take some tissue paper. Oh, we're gonna measure our little jar. So whatever size jar you have, I am going to, you see where it like ends right here? I'm gonna go just a little bit beyond that, probably maybe about an eighth of an inch or so, and then a little bit beyond the bottom. So this comes up to six inches, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put my, um, this is just the cheapest, chanciest little tissue paper ever. I know sometimes people think you have to buy really good quality tissue paper. Nope. This is actually Hallmark. It is flimsy. There is nothing to it. It doesn't feel like anything special. Any kind of tissue paper will work. You could even do this with a printed tissue paper. But we're going to stamp on ours. And this is going to be a, just a really sweet, charming little gift that I can give somebody for Valentine's Day or use it just to decorate my own house during Valentine's Day. And I think that's probably what I will do. This is one of the projects that Molly made for her mom for Christmas. And I'll show you a sample of that also. So this is a super easy project. So this is six inches, okay. And now we need to figure out how long we need it to be. So I'm just going to wrap this around here. Again, just white tissue paper if anybody came in late. Hey, make sure you guys click that share button and you can do that right now while you're watching me. That really helps me grow my business. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna leave just a little bit, about an inch of overlap. You can always make it smaller, but you can't make it bigger. So don't take off too much. There's an inch of overlap there. Now I'm gonna set this aside. So what I decided to do Oh, I know I probably need some sponges too. Is let me, oh here's my little here's my little pad. I am going to take and stamp my hearts. And I think I want this little polka dotty heart. Okay. Ooh, I think I might use this little one. This just little tiny one. I'm gonna put this away. Of course, one stamp set would work fine for this. I'm just using a couple. And then I think I'll use this one and maybe this one. So I've got photopolymer and a red rubber here. And let me grab some blocks to put those on. Do one right here. And we're gonna grab a little baby one right there. Whoops. Oh, photopolymer. It's sticky. I like it. And then one of these bigger ones. Okay, here we go. Thank you guys for the share. I see everybody sharing. I really appreciate it. Really helps me too when you share if you would type in that you shared because um, Facebook changed something recently and it'll tell me how many shares there are of this video but it won't show me half the people that shared. So I'm glad that you're putting your name in there or you're just saying I shared because then your name comes with it, right? And then when I do a drawing, sometimes for these um, weekly Facebook Lives that I'm, or these daily Facebook Lives this week, this is a celebration kickoff and the new catalog. And I just wanted to do something special for you guys to thank you for your support. But um, when you do... Um, where was I going with that? I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so during these Facebook Lives that I'm doing um, every day this week, 
I decided that I would grab, like the other night I grabbed one from YouTube, that was our winner. Then I grabbed one from the comments. I'm going to grab somebody from the sharing that are going to be the winners. So I'm kind of grabbing them from all over the place rather than, you know, I don't have three gifts to give away each night like I do on Sunday night. So I guess that's what I'm saying. Okay, next up, we are going to bring in some colors. I've got red, flirty flamingo, and Versamark. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use my Versamark, and I think that this, oh, I don't know how this is going to look. We're just going to try this, okay? This may be a disaster because I didn't actually make one of these. I'm going to do some little hearts, and then I'm going to bring in, I'm going to close this. You always close up your ink pad before you get out embossing powder because it is a disaster if you spill that in your ink pad. Here's my gold embossing powder. One thing that's really funny is if you find that your gold isn't embossing very nice, um, you probably don't have Stampin' Up! Gold embossing powder because I had one of my team members many, many years ago when she first started. She said, how come my embossing doesn't look as good as yours? And I said, well, first of all, are you using Whisper White cardstock? Yup. Okay, that's good. And then I said, are you using Stampin' Up! Embossing Powder? She goes, no, I'm using a gold that I found at a discount store. And I said, well, that is probably your problem. She bought the Stampin' Up! Embossing Powder, which is very fine, high quality. She couldn't believe the difference. So sometimes just the quality of your product really makes a difference. We are going to heat set this with my old cranky heat tool. I know this end's broken off. I could severely burn myself if I touch it. One thing you're gonna find when you emboss on tissue paper, your embossing happens super, super fast. Way faster than when you do it on cardstock. So just be aware of that. Now I'm gonna come in and I want this to be very random, right? I don't want my hearts to look like they are a pattern, I guess, is a good way to put it. I'll just put one right there. Maybe one more right there. Okay, now we can't even see these. I know you can't see them. I can't see them either. It's just kind of a, it's a guessing game. So I'm going to do this. And we're just going to pour some powder until we find <laughs> where our Versamark images are. Here's some right there. I always try to keep that powder in this container so I don't get it all over. And sometimes I'm successful and sometimes, you know, <laughs> sometimes not so much. There we go. And here comes another one. I can see it right there. If you're not comfortable doing this many at one time, just do a couple and heat set them. Do a couple more. It's, it's fine. You don't need to get as crazy as I... I am right now. I'm trying to see if I, did I put any more hearts on here? I don't think I did. Okay, there we go. We're going to close this up so we don't blow it away with our heat tool. How many of you guys have done that? Like accidentally left your, your embossing powder open and then hit it with your heat tool and it blew everywhere. Raise your hands if you belong to that special club. Special is the keyword. <laughs> I've done it. I'm in the club. Who's in the club with me? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Super quick. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at comments, so I better pay attention. There we go. Quick, quick, quick. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Haley loves gold. So I think she would love this. Look how pretty that is, you guys. What? What? Yeah. I wonder if I could put this down to bring in a little more light. Does that look nice? Did you guys? I just turned that light down. So I should show you, for those of you that are demonstrators, I know you guys always like to know this stuff. I just ordered this swish mount and I have it clipped to my Archon stand. Um, I'm not using it to hold my phone because I don't feel it's stable enough, but I did get this light thing and it has different colors you can see here. And I've got it plugged into my USB. I really like it. Oh, Amy says she didn't think you could emboss tissue paper. Oh yeah, you can. We can emboss on anything, Amy. <laughs> okay, so we've got that done. Now, next what I'd like to do is bring in one of these colors. And I think I'm going to go, let's see, I've got, ooh, I've got three more hearts here. 
So I think I'll do the red. This is real red with the heart from the meant to be set stamp set. And I'm going to go just like that. Oh my gosh, is that not so, so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Maybe one more down here. Let me get this out of the way. Um, I just smudged red onto my page here. So, you know, be careful. It's not going to hurt anything. Don't worry about that. But just be careful. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my little polka dot one with Flirty Flamingo. And I'm going to add some little polka dot hearts. This is really, really pretty. Put one right there. Again, I'm just doing real random things here. Uh, let's get, oh, I'm gonna do polka dots right over here, going off the edge, and then I think I'll get another red one and add it right there. And then I see that I don't have much of this one down here, so I'll come in and do that. And I stamped right over that smudge of red. So yay me, winning. <laughs> now I'm gonna come in with this little baby heart from the Lots of Hearts stamp set. Yes, Sue is asking, if embossed on tissue, can you then adhere the tissue to a candle to make a designer candle? Yes, you can, okay? That is definitely something that you can do. It's something I've done in the past, but that's not what we're going to do here. But it's kind of, um, yeah, you can do that. I'm just going to say that, yes, you can. Okay, so here I come with some red little baby hearts. And I'm just going to randomly stamp those all over the place. What do you guys think? Isn't it just the cutest? I love kind of collage things like this. I think they're really fun. They're easy. They're very creative without having to be a super creative person, I guess is a good way to put it. And I think what I'd like to do is I'm going to clean off my stamp here. I also, you guys, brought in the white embossing powder because I wasn't sure that I was going to like the gold. So I had the white here for a backup, but I do love the gold. And I think Haley will love it too. Right, Hales? Are you watching? Is Haley on tonight? Did anybody see her come in? I did not see her come in. But I've been busy, right? Okay, hang on. And Denise says, polka dots are great no matter what they're on. And I totally agree with you. And by the way, you guys, I'm having kind of a hard time keeping up with the comments. So if you ask me a question and I did not acknowledge you, please just ask it again and I will try to pay better attention. It's hard to stamp and talk and think. You guys know I have a problem thinking anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so I have embossed on tissue and then made attached to the calendar. Francie, I'm thinking that you mean attached to the candle, maybe? A little slip of your fingers there. Look at I like the flirty flamingo little tiny hearts too, right? And I always stamp the smallest thing last. You stamp the biggest thing first so that you can fill in with your little items. And that's just kind of a, a good rule of thumb with any type of collage stamping, no matter what you're doing. And I'm just going to go here and just fill in where I think we're missing. We need just a little bit more. How about uh, right there? Okay, what are we looking like? I think we're looking pretty good. Okay, now, this is exciting. Um, if I had a candle here, I would make one for you, but I don't. If you were to do a candle, I'm gonna use my um, this as a uh, example. Hi, Barb Newsbaum. Happy to see you here tonight. So what I'm gonna do, what you would do is this is your candle, okay? So let's say this is just a raw pillar candle. You would take your um, tissue paper and you would wrap it around your candle, okay? And then you would take your heat tool and you would just heat it and melt it into your candle until it's all melted and adhered. It's very fun, okay? Now, you could also take a sponge and sponge some color on here if you wanted to. That's also very pretty. And I think today I'm not going to do that, but I will show you something that is sponge so you can get a little idea of, you know, what it looks like. 
And next thing I'm going to do, you're going to, are you ready to freak out? Because I think you're going to absolutely, whoops, freak out when I do this. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to crunch this up. And you're like, oh my lord, what did she just do? This is the scariest part. But don't be afraid. It's just tissue paper, right? And let's be real. If we don't like how this turns out, we can make another one. It's not that big of a deal. But don't be afraid. It's only paper. Okay, so we crunched this all up like this. And this is why you want to leave about an inch overlap on your tissue paper, okay? Now, you don't want to smooth it back out because that will take all your wrinkles out. And I want these wrinkles in here. So what I'm going to do, hang on, I'm going to grab a, some of my graphic paper here so I don't make a mess all over my desktop. I am going to paint my jar with some Mod Podge, Mod Podge, however they say this. This, by the way, is matte. You can get the shiny stuff too. It'll work just fine. Me and Molly had to go buy some of this because this is what she made for her mom. And, oh, this is a really crummy sponge brush. Didn't I have a better one? I saw one someplace here. I don't know. We'll just see how this goes. I need to get some new ones of these. But anyways, um, Molly made these for her mom and her grandma for Christmas. And you can then take these jars and you can put treats in them if you want. But wait until you see what I do with mine. I think you're going to love this. Now, I'm just going to spread this all over my jar, and we're going to complete this on, on our live tonight because, well, let's be real, I'm always one to stall to put together my swap cards, and that's what I have to do next. <laughs> so the more time I spend with you, the more time I can fritter away not doing that. Do you guys do that? And I don't know why, because once I start making the swap cards, I've already got them designed, but once I start making them, well, one of them I do anyways. I love just sitting, it's kind of mindless to put together 22 cards, you know, but it's, I just drag my feet up until the point. Okay, so here we go. Now, one thing you want to do is you want to get this rim up here because we're going to have a little bit of overlap with that tissue paper right up here into the, like where the lid goes. And there we go. Okay. Now, we're going to take our tissue paper. Make sure you have the gold side because this is the back. That's not the embossed side. This is the, this is the embossed side. And I'm just going to, I'm watching my top up here so that I get it overlapped just a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to pull it down here. Don't take the wrinkles out. The wrinkles are charming and we want them. Oh, you know what I didn't do, you guys? I did not, oops, hang on. I did not, um do my bottom edge here and that needs just a little bit of you want your you want your um, tissue paper to stick to the bottom too so don't forget to add just a little bit of that decoupage to the bottom now this should have been actually a little bit longer it's not really going over the bottom like I would like it to so leave yours a little bit longer when you scrunch it up it kind of takes away a lot of the the tissue paper, it really makes it draw up. Here we go. Here comes the other side. I'm gonna pray that it meets because when we made the one for Molly, it didn't. We had to like put a little section in. It was okay though, right? This is a homemade gift. It, it's, it's not meant to be perfect. It's the love in all the imperfections that makes it special. There's a good way to say I screwed up, but you're going to like it anyways. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I can see this overlap right here where it's overlapping. You're going to want a little bit of Mod Podge in there to glue that down, okay? So we're going to glue that and we're going to close it. There we go. You want everything to stick nicely. Okay, you guys, look at this. Is this not really, really cool? I think this is amazing and what a great gift. Kids can make this, it's so fun. You could make this for a baby gift and stamp some cute little dinosaurs on it or some little crocodiles or whatever. But what are we gonna do with this? Hang on, I'm gonna show you. We are going to take some fairy lights. You can get these at your craft stores. Right? It's a little battery operated light. I'm going to put that in here 
Where's my lid? Right here. There's my cute little lid. And now I'm gonna turn off my lights so that we can see what this looks like. Hang on. This is gonna light up and it's gonna be oh so pretty of a decoration for Valentine's Day. Yeah, isn't that neat? Do I have it? Yeah, I got it in my camera, right, right? I just wanna make sure it's in here. So the other thing that I would do, you guys, is that I would wait for this to dry now because it's kind of delicate. It's still damp. Wait for it to dry, and then I would put another coat of the Mod Podge on there, okay? Hang on, let me set this aside. I got a little piece here. I would put another coat of this on as soon as it dries. You can't put this in the dishwasher, okay, if you're going to wash it, but you could make some cookies. You could make some little Valentine candies and put it in here and give it as a gift. Um, I love the little fairy lights that I have on the inside here. Those are really cute. This is the Maj Podge that I use. And again, this is the matte finish. You could use a shiny finish. But let me show you the one that Molly made. This was a little sample. Oh, um, hang on a second. I'm going to turn lights back on. A little bit dark. Here we go. Whoops. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, thanks, you guys. Thanks. I'm watching all your comments come through. So this is a really cute one for winter, right? You could make a jar for each season. So this would be not only Christmassy, but winter. So like in Wisconsin, it's winter to like May. <laughs> so we could leave this out. We like to put the winter away about April. But um, anyways, look how pretty this is. And yeah, I just it up like this. This one has a little bit of blue onto my white snowflakes. So I did the white embossing with those. Let me show you. Look at this jar. This uses glossy Mod Podge. And this is an old stamp set. I made these years ago. And I found this when I moved out of my office downstairs. I'm like, oh my gosh. These are so fun and easy to make. This would make a great Christmas present for Molly to make for somebody. And for those of you that might be new to me, Molly is my nine-year-old granddaughter. And she actually made a couple of these. I just stood here and told her what to do. She did it. She made a couple of these for gifts. And let me tell you, I thought she was going to just pop. She was so proud of herself and so excited. So this is a really sweet gift for children to make. And again... And then I said to Molly, if we had had more time, we made some really pretty little candies or Christmas cookies and put these in the um, But you can just put the fairy lights in. Those are really fun. And that's what we did. We put fairy lights in both of them. And when I went over to Anna's house for Christmas, this was proudly displayed in one of the most prominent places in her home. The one that Molly made for her. So how special is that, right? Okay, Tina's asking, is that regular tissue paper? And I'm going to cover that again because I know some of you came in a little bit later. There is absolutely nothing special about this. It is cheap dollar store paper. <laughs> Karen is headed to the dollar store tomorrow to search for jars. I know, it's so fun, right? Um, this is Hallmark tissue paper. I don't even know where I got it, but it's chintzy. It's cheap. There's nothing high quality about it. It makes absolutely no difference. Uh, where did that other little jar go? That's the one. I played bingo. Now, we played. These are our bingo things from our team Christmas party. That was really fun. Would you guys be interested in bingo or a numbers game? I think I'm going to be doing a, na a game night starting in January. So I need to get all the details figured out. But I will post that here and also on my blog. <gasps> Stephanie! Stephanie's my stepdaughter. Stephanie Clotes is on here. Stephanie wants the heart stamp set. This is the current one that's in the mini catalog stuff. And then this is the meant to be. So whichever one. Um... <laughs> Thanks for watching, but um, this is chintzy cheap tissue paper. There's nothing special about it. Mod Podge and a um, sponge brush, preferably one that doesn't look like a prune, <laughs> right? This one looks pretty sad. But anyways, um, I am going to as soon as this is all dry because right now it's a little, um, 
delicate because tissue paper is wet. It's really quite delicate. But any size starter, you could throw the fairy lights in here. That would be very pretty. Here's an old one that I did. This is matte finish. This is the shiny, um, whatever they call it, the shiny finish. So did anybody have any questions that I missed? Lori says game night would be fun. I think so too. I'm Tanya says yes, game night. I think I'm going to do a game night. I think that's going to be fun. Um, Barb, Dina, and I have a huge, wonderful program coming out. It's going to be a subscription service. We are finalizing all the details, and I will be getting that to you as soon as I have them all lined up. I don't want to give you any misinformation. I don't want to forget something um, that would be pertinent to you knowing what it's all about, but it's going to be a subscription service. We've got a brand new website we're putting together. Um, we are going to have three live classes a month. We are going to house all of our online classes there. If you join our teams, you will have the opportunity to get into that, um, We've, we're going to have a basic, I can't remember if it's called a basic subscription and then a premium subscription. If you're on our teams, you're going to get into that first level subscription for free. It's, it's amazing the amount of things that you get being a team member. So if anybody wants to join my team, now is the time during celebration, you are going to get a huge deal. And that is five packs of designer series paper free. This is worth like $65. Um, Sandy's asking, what color is the paper on the snowflake jar? It was white, okay? And I sponged soft suede onto it. So that's a great question. Thank you for asking. You can sponge any color you want on it. Now, um, you want to be careful that you don't get too aggressive with your sponge because it is tissue paper. So um, Claudia wants to know where I got the jars. You can get the jars any place. This, these ones are from Hobby Lobby, as well as the fairy lights. But you can go to your dollar store and get jars. Any kind of jar will work. This jar has a, just a little lift-off lid. I think this was actually, if you see, it's got kind of a label sticky on it. This was a candle that I finished and I washed out. And you could do this to this candle jar too. But any type of jar will work. Mod Podge. I've got matte here. You can use the shiny or whatever it's called. You want to put another layer on the outside. I didn't do that because I'm going to wait for this to dry. Celebration. Join my team. It is the funnest thing ever. You will not be disappointed and you have nothing to lose. If you don't like it, you will simply be um, dropped after January, February, March, April, May, June. The end of July. You have until the end of July before you are dropped from my team. You get all of my online classes for free once you place your first discount order. Karen says she's already a discount shopper. Good for you. Lori wants to know, did you sponge the color before doing the Maj Podge? Yes. You want to put the color on first? That's a great question. Thank you very much. Glossy. Carol says glossy. I'm like shiny. Yeah, glossy. Matte or glossy. You can use either one. This one is glossy and you can see it kind of shining in the light. This one I haven't put the outside coat on, but it is going to be matte. It's going to be dull. Let's do just a little bit of that so you can see what that looks like. Because um, matte looks different than glossy, not shiny. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to take... And you can add some right now and come back and finish it later. It's certainly not going to hurt anything. But this is just going to help... Firm it up a little bit and seal that tissue paper on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off so I don't make a mess here. But yeah, I'm just gonna go around and add all of this on here. You don't want to make it thick. It's not supposed to be thick. Don't leave it all globby. Spread it out nice. This is also gonna help your tissue paper stay around that edge. And if you came in late, um, I said I would like to see the tissue paper come. Whoops further around the bottom. I should have cut mine bigger, okay? But I, I goofed up, but it'll be okay. Yeah, this was a little challenging for Molly because we have to kind of set this someplace and let it dry. You know, I don't want to stick my fingers in it now because it's all wet, but yeah. 
this is a really, really fun project. And when you get ready to set it down, don't set it on the bottom because this will stick to your paper and you'll have an ever-loving mess, okay? But you can set it down, whoops, just like that. Hang on. Set it on the top and let it dry from there. So, and like I said, I'm going to finish this up later. I have some mail to share with you guys. Hang on, I've got Modge. Podge, Mod Podge, I guess it's called. I always called it Modge Podge, but that doesn't look like that's the name of it, right? Let me throw that away. I got some mail to share, so hang on. I'm going to move this over. Yay! And I'm going to turn my little fairy lights off. Oh, do you guys want to see this one with the fairy lights in? Yeah, this one's really pretty, too. Look at how pretty that is. Um, that light's on. Let me turn some lights off again. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and this can just be a nice decoration. You can set it on the mantle of your fireplace or maybe in a dark corner of a room. This would be nice, kind of like a little bit of a night light. And you can also, I think you can get these fairy lights where they have um, a timer on them. So, oh, and somebody's asking if I embossed the hearts, I believe, on the jar. And the answer is yes, I use golden embossing powder. Let me bring that back in here. Hang on, oh, I don't wanna stick my fingers in it. So these are gold embossed and you can emboss on this. Just know that when you hit it with your heat tool, it embosses super fast. It like gets shiny really fast. You don't, you don't wanna hit it too long because you can burn the powder off, right? Somebody says all of a sudden I can't hear you. Kathy, I think sometimes what happens is when you guys click on the hearts or the laughing faces at the bottom and we've got like 300 people doing that at once, it, it, it does something with the sound. So usually I'm just babbling on anyways. <laughs> like I don't think I'm saying anything that you're going to really super miss. <laughs> Maybe I am, but um, I think that's what happens with the sound. So I think I should be probably back on. Yeah, I got some more hearts coming in, right? Uh, Judy says she can hear me fine. Okay, so maybe it's your connection too. Sometimes that gets a little hard. Oh, Kathy says, got you back. Okay, so I'm going to show you some mail because I'm still trying to get through my Christmas mail. Hang on. If anybody came in on the end of this, you're going to find all the details if you watch the replay. And you guys know that you can go to my video once I'm done being live and you can watch it again and you can actually take your little arrow and move it ahead if you're in a hurry and you just want to see the project I'm making or whatever you don't want to hear all the chit chat you can move your little cursor ahead and it'll go right to wherever you want it you can pause it to write down dimensions if you need to all the things but there aren't going to be any dimensions for this project because each jar is going to be different um, whoops, something just fell into the abyss. I don't know what it was, but we'll figure it out later. Oh no, it was my white scraps just tipped over. My lord, what a mess. Anyways, um, you're going to want to overlap your tissue paper when you wrap it around here about an inch and give it, give it some extra room because when you crinkle it up and then put it back on here, you don't want to push all the wrinkles out of it, but it really makes it draw up. And then you want to bring it over the bottom about an inch also, I'd say. When you do the part up here, oops, I have it going over the edge so that I put some Mod Podge in this and then push that tissue paper into it too. So I just want to make sure we covered all our bases. This is a really neat project. It's super easy to make. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun with it. All right, mail call. Here we go. I hope I haven't shown you any of these because I think I put some back. I think I might have um, put some doubles in here, meaning that I might have shown this. Jackie, no, I know I didn't show this. This is from my team member. Let me turn some lights back on. This is from my team member, Jackie Blair. She's a newer member of my team. And oh my gosh, I just love that she's joined our team. She has been volunteering for stuff and she's so helpful. Look at how pretty this is. So she sent this to me, and she's got her envelope decorated. Look at this pretty Christmas card, right? And it says, thank you so much for being such an inspiration. You are an amazing upline, and I have learned so much from you in such a short time. You will always, 
You always say that it's fun being part of something bigger and you are absolutely right. Thank you also for the stamp set I wanted our team meeting and for the embellishments you had sent for on stage. Enjoy the Christmas season with your family, especially little Val, who is absolutely adorable. I know, right? <laughs> Many blessings for a joyful holiday. So um, the other thing I wanted to tell you, I have a team meeting once a month that is broadcast live via Zoom, and then I also push it on to Facebook Live. So I've got two platforms all at once. Everybody gets to join in. Other demonstrators or team members, discount shoppers, volunteer to do demonstrations. So we get to see people's style and all kinds of cool stuff they show us how to make. Um, it's just a lot of fun and there are lots of door prizes. So I love door prizes. Look at how pretty this is. So we've got the card. We've got this matching cardstock envelope that Jackie made. Look at the bracelet. It's got a little owl on it. How cute is that? And it says hope. And these are balance beads. The properties associated with this stone promotes emotional balance and positive energy. And this is just the sweetest. And you guys know I love bracelets, right? So I purposely did not wear a bracelet tonight because I knew I was going to show you this bracelet that I got from Jackie. And I'm like, I keep going, I want to wear that bracelet. I need to show it on my Facebook Live because I don't want to take it away and not show everybody. So, night is night. We're going to get this out of here. My lord. I don't want to break it, you know. Err, there we go. And err, there we go. Here it is. Ah, this is so pretty. I have another bracelet that does the same um, thing to make it tighten, Jackie, so I'm familiar with it. I love the owl on this. So what you do is you just, whoops, <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't know how to do it. There we go. It's nice. This is kind of um, nice to put on. Oh, hang on. Let's see if I can do it myself. I was going to say these are nice to put on because you can do them yourself. Sometimes you might need to grab your Steve. <laughs> say, Steve, get your great big man fingers in here and help me with this little thing. <gasps> Look at how cute that is, you guys. I love it, Jackie. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. That was just the sweetest. Balance beads. That's what they are. Yeah, so what you guys have for what you eat today? I wanted to tell you about what I ate today. Can you use embossing folders on tissue paper instead of screwing it up? Um, I don't know. You can try that. I don't think that's going to work very well. Just saying. Um, I don't know why I think that, but I just think it won't. Um, because the tissue paper is just so soft. I don't know if, um, well, you know what? Let's try it. That's a great idea, Kelly. Let's bring in our little, where's my baby boss? Here's my baby boss. We're gonna bring the baby in. I've got this little embossing folder. I have a little piece of tissue paper, just like that. I'm gonna put it in the embossing folder and see what happens. And, and, um, I need to use a different platform. Remember, we went through this the other night. Insert embossing folders. Okay, and it tells you hinge first. Oh, and I think I do need to put these plates around it, right? Who's with me? Who's, who's cheering me on going, yep, she's got it. Or, uh, nope, she's screwing that up. Hang on. What's going on? Uh -oh. Oh, I think I have something wrong. Hang on. How is it? I do not know how to do this. Oh, I only need one. Okay, are you guys yelling at me? Kelly, you only need one. So I've got number one, and then I need a number three. Number three, because I don't have any number threes. One and a three. Insert embossing folders hinge first. Well, let's see what happens. Hmm. That's not right. That isn't right. Okay, Com 
complete colossal fail. This is only for dyes. I'll figure this out and let you guys know tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but hang on, because I'm going to run this through the big die cutting machine. Reinforce, insert bossing folder hinge first. This is a number four, and then it wants a number one with a number four. Oh, I bet you this is it. <laughs> oh, no, that's not right either. Huh. Hang on. How about this? Oh, for the love. I don't know how to do it. Hang on. Okay, so I ran it through the big boss. And, oh, look at that. So that's just running it through an embossing folder. Now, I don't know what'll happen when you put this on the jar with your Mod Podge. It might smooth it all out, or maybe, maybe it won't. So I would say to answer your question, you go right ahead and try it. It can't hurt anything, right? Do it, on a, do it on a little jar of spaghetti sauce that you would throw away, okay? Then you can, uh, <laughs> Wendy says you cracked me up. Well, Wendy, you know, what are you going to do? I um, completely failed at this. I don't even know why. Place the cutting pad edge down. I know this is for dies. This says insert embossing folders hinge first. And with number one and number three. Well, I don't have any number threes. I got number twos. Like, what is a number three, you guys? I got a one, a two. Oh, here's a three. Oh, it wants, oh yeah, a one. Oh, this is number three. Oh my Lord, stop me now. Okay, so I got it now. Sorry, this and this, hello. <sighs> not any indication of what is going to happen the rest of the night. Okay, let's get on to Lisa Nealon. Lisa and Jackie are both talking. Jackie, I am wearing your bracelet and I love it. Balance beads. Thank you very much. Then, this is from Lisa Nealon and isn't, oh, I shouldn't show your address. Isn't this pretty? I love this. It's very rustic. And this was her Christmas card. Yeah, very cool. Thank you. And she's got the, the little moose on there. Thank you, Lisa, very much. Here comes a little treat that I got from Kathy Miller. And I thought this was adorable. I love these two ribbons together, right? How festive is that? Hang on. I'm going to open it up because I'm, I'm thinking there's some Ghirardelli's in here, right? Yep. Two Ghirardelli's. How cute is that? Peppermint bark. Yummy. Look how cute that is, right? absolutely adorable next up did I, guys, did I tell you guys about the um this is from deborah whalen weigh-in hang on coming in these are the gourmet christmas candy corns and i think i showed these two already these are the candy corns that i keep losing so i have dedicated the spot to them right on my desk and as you guys can see oops i kind of sealed it I've eaten quite a few. I'm not gonna lie, but they are delightful. <laughs> Judy says I'm a Fruit Loop, but she likes them. Fruit Loops. Very good. These are delicious. Thank you very much, Deborah. I came in this pretty bag from Amazon. Love it. Next up, mm, I don't think I showed you guys this, and I think this is from Judith Rodriguez. This is colored with blends. It's those little gnome stamps on a piece of wood. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. This is from Beatrice Red. Beatrice, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous card. And guess what? That is the same stamp set that Mary Swanson won. She's getting this whole bundle from watching Facebook Live last night. There you go, Mary Swanson. Look at how cute that is. Did I show you guys these cards yet? Can you tell me? Have you seen them? <laughs> Amy Todd has never had candy corn. Amy, 
I am sorry, you are missing one of the highlights of my life. You either love it or you hate it. And it is pure sugar in a little mold. That's what it is. And I love it. Okay. Thank you, Beatrice. This is beautiful. Next up, we have, I think this is from Luann Lee. Yep, Luann is also on my team. And I miss seeing her. She was in my stamp clubs before she joined. Isn't that pretty? That poinsettia. Thank you, Luann. Next up, Mary Emilio. Look at this. Sweetest season. I love that set. I did an online class with it. Thank you, Mary. Uh, Cindy says, wow, really gorgeous snowman card. I know, right? We had a really pretty one on last night, too. This is from my upline, Ann Heepner, and look at how pretty that card is, right? It says, congratulations, you are off to an amazing Stampin' Up! year. You were number one in sales for the first quarter for our Stampin' Annie Stampers. I recognize and appreciate all your hard work. Way to go. Thank you, Ann. You are very sweet. Next up, this was a paper pumpkin kit, I believe. And this is from Raleigh, North Carolina, and it is Judy Hop. How cute is that? Ooh, and it's got um, sparkles on the trees. I love, love, love that. Look at, there's that ornate garden die in here again. I love that thing. It was on two cards last night that I shared. If you guys missed my live last night, go watch it. It was fun. This card is from Tracy Baysmore. Tracy, thank you. I love the way she put the little red rhinestones on here, right? And we've got some Wink Stella on the Santa white parts. And... Thank you for all the wonderful card ideas. I love duplicating and modifying the projects you post. Love watching you on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you very much. Next up, ooh, this one is pretty, pretty. This uses that um, Kirby Celebrations. This one is from Sam Slow. Sam, how do I say your last name? Slimac, I think. Slimac? Slimac? Slimac. Slimac. Um, I met Sam at one of my very first um, events with Stampin' Up! And I believe that we were in Orlando, Florida. And this was 17 years ago. I met Sam. And she's from San Diego. And we see each other every time there's a big Stampin' Up! event. Wherever it is across the country, Sam is always there. And I just always enjoyed talking to her. So that's how I know Sam. Sam, thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful card. Next, oh, look at this one. This is from Ellen Herman. Did I show this to you guys yet? I don't think I did. I think I was showing it to Rachel. She's one of my helpers. I'm like, look at this. Isn't this pretty? And this says, oh, sorry. Let me get this down here. This is a freestanding pop-up card. Okay, it sits on a table. Whoops, I got a bunch of stuff here. It sits on a table just like this. This, and you can make it stand up. But right now it's just giving me kind of a hard time. There we go. <sighs> Look how cool that is. She says, wishing you and your family the best in this holiday season. Ellen Herman. How pretty is that? Yeah. Amy Todd says, I hope to meet you someday. I do too, Amy. It's really fun to go to Stampin' Up! events and have people... Um, that you get to meet in real life because that's um, that doesn't happen all the time, right? But it's super, super fun, and I love going to Stampin' Up! events. And last time I was at an event, I got yelled at because I wasn't wearing my crown. And somebody knew it was me because I, like, I kind of talked loud to the next table saying, hey, you guys, blah, blah, blah. And she turned around, she whipped her head around, and she's like, that's Kelly Atchison. She yelled at me. She goes, I didn't even know. This whole time I've been sitting right by you, right by your table. I didn't even know that was you because you don't have your crown on. Where is your crown? <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, my goodness. This card is from Cynthia Campbell. Wishing Steve and I and Little Miss Val a fabulous Virus Free 2021. Thank you very much. That is beautiful. I love the shimmer paper there. Amy says she's been to On Stage once. Where did you go to On Stage, Amy? Where was it at? Look at this beautiful Kimberly Milan. Kimberly's also on my team. Oh wait, sorry. This is Jackie Borsch. I'm sorry. I'm looking at Kimberly's here. 
Um, Jackie, I said, is part of my team. She's the one who gave me this beautiful bracelet. It says, I love your videos. They help me with ideas and how to make the cards. I'm a demonstrator for the discount and the hobby. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't Jackie Blurs. It's Jackie Beckwith. Thank you, Jackie Beckwith. This is absolutely, I love this. And as a matter of fact, my um, Valentine tutorial has a card just like this. It's with this fold. So that's really fun. This is from Kimberly Milan. Look at, ah, oh, we've got the pine cones and the pine bows. Whoa! Love it. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Appreciate everything you do, Kimberly Milan. Thank you, Kimberly. Then I have a card from um, Lynn and Joyce LaRock. And I actually nominated Lynn. He served in the Army. And I nominated him to receive a beautiful handmade quilt because he's a veteran. And so they're sending me a thank you card for that. And um, Bobby Hine, she watches. And she is the one who her group makes these beautiful quilts. And I donated a whole bunch of Stampin' Up! product to... Um, her group of people because they make cards to go with all these quilts to veterans. It was just a really special, special deal. This is from my team member, Christine, Christine Bertram. She says, wishing you and Steve a very Merry Christmas. Love this card, Christine. It's beautiful. Next up we have, who's this from? This is from Karen Slowinski. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. She die cut that wreath out of the designer series paper so it gives it all those different colors. I just, that is so, so pretty. I love it. Very pretty. Thank you, Karen, very much. Okay, hang tight. I've got, I want to get these presents so I can use them. So I can't use them until I show them to you because then I can't remember. <laughs> it's a real problem, right? Okay, here comes another one. This is from Joanne Porter. And it says, Merry Christmas from your secret, secret Santa. So our team meeting this year was a Christmas party, and it had to be virtual, right? And it should be virtual anyways, because I've got people all over the country that are on my team. We did a secret Santa, and Joanne was my secret Santa. And look at these. Look at how floofy these are. And this is why I like have to show you this tonight so I can wear these. Look at how floofy they are. They are amazing. And she says, to help keep your feet warm while you're working. And you guys know my feet are always freezing, right? <laughs> so I thought that was super special. And then we got to do a wish list. And on my wish list, I put this alarm clock with a wireless speaker. And this is for my bedroom. So thank you very much, Joanne. And then look at this. She made me this. This is a post-it note holder, okay? And a little thing to hold your pens. Oops, look at, my, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I love this. I love it. I can't. I need to put that on my desk. That's another reason why I have to show everybody. Look at this calendar. We've got a little pen. We've got some post-it notes here, and we've got our calendar. Whoops, let me get this back in here. We've got our calendar right here, and this is on an easel so that it'll stand up right on my desk. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Ooh, I gotta keep these out here so I put them out on my desk so I can use them. These are so wonderful. I love them. Thank you so much, Joanne. You are just the sweetest. One more, you guys. One more gift, and then we're gonna be done. Oh, let me read this from Joanne. Um, I am proud to say that you are my upline. You inspire every day. Merry Christmas and a very happy new year. God bless you and yours, your secret Santa. Joanne! Thank you, Joanne. Okay, next up. This is from Claudia Padone. Look at how cute that is. I love these colors together. Merry Christmas, Kelly and family. Thank you for being you. You are very welcome. Thank you, Claudia. And let's see. Um, that was Joanne Porter. Hang on a second. I gotta look at something to make sure I'm not screwing this up. I'm not. Sea salt caramels, baby. Thank you so much. I am I'm looking forward to cracking these puppies open. And then look at this pretty little box. 
<gasps> Look at all of these bracelets. I was showing these to my helper, Rachel, when she was over the other day. And I said, look at all these bracelets. My goodness, one would have been plenty. And Rachel goes, Kelly, you can wear those all together and they will look fantabulous. Hang on a second. I got to figure out what's going on here. Okay, I got this one stuck on here and I don't think it should be. Well, I'll figure it out. Anyways. That's got a little flower on it. This is just a lot of nice, pretty gold. Here's one more in here. This one has a little heart on it. And you can wear all of these together to make a really cute little bracelet. Claudia, thank you so much. You are just the sweetest. All right, you guys. I got a ton of swap cards to make tonight. I think I'm going to turn on some murder. Or maybe I'll watch a movie. I don't know. Anyways, make sure you share this video. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me tonight. I appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business and pays my bills. Here is my host code right now. It's current host code. You can find that code anytime on the right-hand column of my blog. My blog address is right here. And like I said, I do not know if I will be live tomorrow because I have to pack and get these swaps done and I need to head to Oshkosh. But I'm gonna try really hard, okay? I don't wanna promise something that I can't follow through with so I'm not promising anything. <laughs> Just wanna make that perfectly clear. Anyhow, I will be live again on Sunday night, 7 p.m. Central Time for sure. If I can't be live tomorrow, I will be live on Sunday. So I just wanna let you know that. And 7 p.m. Central Time right here on my channel. I can't wait to see you guys. I hope I get to see you tomorrow. And I'll tell you all about my weekend. Don't worry. I am in um, two different swaps. And I'm getting 44 more swaps back from this event. So I will have tons and tons of great ideas to share with you. I can't wait. You guys have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Thank you. Bye-bye.